Yeah. All right. How we doing? Yeah. Everybody travel safe on the way in. Roads okay. I'll probably see better than down low. So hopefully the low lying areas. Just take your time getting home. Hopefully I, I, it'll probably be 85 degrees by the afternoon. So. I'm sure it'll warm up. Let's look at the extended forecast. My dad. I'll take a picture my dad sent me. Yeah. What? East Coast has like a foot of, a foot of foot. He's like, it's too cold to make snowballs. There's a foot of powder on my back deck. I'm like, are you seriously complaining about that? And he was. He was seriously complaining about that. And they don't got any hills. You gotta go like, you gotta go with the Pilgrims. Yeah. Which I'm sure are very happy right now. I mean, and, and Vermont. Or Vermont, exactly. They're used to having that manicure. Machine made stuff. Yeah. yeah. So this is a headed one. Awesome. Upstate or a city? Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. That's always amazing. No. Yeah. Well, that's LBI. Yeah. Right here, baby. Long Island? Long Island. Oh, yeah. Strong Island? Of course. What's my favorite place in the year? I'm sure all, all that ocean effect, or ocean effect, you know, weird yeah. weather. Long Island's freaking awesome. I've got cousins up with Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Kids, I mean, that's just awesome. Um, we'll get back to Burton here in a second. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So, how was stuff? Project? Not much math. I apologize. I mean, actually, I don't. I'm sure you guys are happy about that. Um, I know there was a little bit of confusion. Actually, let me ask you guys a question. I got a number of emails like on Tuesday morning apologizing for not being able to make class, and people submitted like rainy day coupons with this project, thinking it was due Tuesday. I got it from like four people, so I'm thinking that maybe there's something confusing about how this week is presented in the schedule page. Do you was anything confusing, or was it just it, it could have just the reason I ask if I get like one of those I'm like oh somebody just read it wrong and the second one comes in I'm like hmm and then the third and fourth and the one was under my door with a coupon on it I'm like this seems even weirder like under my door on like Tuesday morning two days ahead of time so I just wanted to make, it was every you guys knew it was due today for the most part it was on Thursday absolutely yeah. I, I know and I went back and checked I'm like, then I went back and looked, and there it was. But I just didn't know if it was because of the way. There we go. Because we have like 105 and 244, and then 243. I wasn't sure if that was causing some kind of an optical illusion, but apparently not. I'll stop worrying about it then. Um, I posted, I posted two quizzes for you for next week. Uh, if you want, I mean, obviously do either, both, neither, or your choice. Um, I also have an in-class quiz. I don't think we'll get to it today. It'll most likely be a, a Tuesday thing, just based on I don't want I don't want to rush to get to it, which would seem silly. Um, but I do have an in-class quiz, so keeping like a running total of how many quizzes are now available, not counting next week. Was there one or two for this week? Just the one. You had a project, so you had the one, and there were a couple last week, yeah. and then one. So there's four, four maybe yeah. total so far. So right. we're at the end of week three, you've got four out there. That's fantastic, and you're, they're gonna they're gonna pick up. Because what I'm going to start doing next week, the reason you have two, I put one that's on measures of center and one that's on variation. So one is a double throwback to center measures, and then one is what we're doing right now and we're going to do more of today. And I'm going to try to keep that like kind of, that kind of, uh, yes, come on in, come on in, let me finish up my little blah, 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 yeah, and we'll talk about voting. Hi. So I want to kind of keep that going, like a, one quiz being like what we're kind of doing right now, and then one maybe a topic back to kind of keep this kind of thing going. I did it in 105, but I didn't only did it singly back, not doubly back. And I think now with a couple quizzes potential, that way you can look at something and go, you know, I need more practice on that. I'll do that quiz a second time, or that topic a second time. Does that kind of make sense? And of course you can ignore them. You don't have to do any of them. I mean, well, you do, if you tend eventually. But you don't have to do, you can pick and choose the ones you want to you do. I did fix a link, speaking of assessments. Oh, Alex, go ahead. I have a question on the exam. Go ahead. Um, so is the exam, like, if we go on it and you say we can work on it ahead of time? Yes. Can we keep going back to it and work on parts till it's due? Yeah, absolutely. I want you to do that. It's a PDF document. It's not like you log in and it locks you out after three tries. Thank you for bringing that up. I, there was an issue. If anybody got in the exam before yesterday morning, there was an image problem. There was a hyperlink that wasn't working. I, I have no idea why. It was a bug. I fixed the bug. Well, I, I band-aided the bug. I have no idea why the bug is still there. Um, not a literal bug, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, by all means, it's a PDF document. It's got a spreadsheet that goes with it. Open it as many times as you want. There's no lockout. I mean, yeah, pick it up, go through it, do the parts you know right now, then go back to it, pick up the pieces you don't know. Yeah, by all means, work together. I talked to the tutoring center. I chit-chatted with Kelly Smith, who runs the, the testing and tutoring center, um, and I said, you guys are probably coming down with, with questions for that. But remember to use it correctly. 
don't walk down and go, I don't get it, boom. Because they're going to go, okay, I'm serious, sorry, and they're going to walk away from you. You know, go in and say, look, I got to this part, but I can't get further. And they're probably going to have you explain what you did. And they're going to give you little hints. They're going to talk to you like I do. In other words, I not give you the answer, but give you the tools to make the answer. So don't get frustrated with them, because that's what they're, that's what they're, they're kind of paid to do it that way. Um, but by all means, they're expecting it over the next couple weeks. Don't bum rush them Wednesday, the night before, with a blank document that pisses them off. Pisses me off too if I find out about it. Um, but that goes for everything. You know, don't bum rush them the day before a project is due. A, a crew of ten of you going down there, Argh! they're gonna just walk away. Uh, yeah, Linda. So two math quizzes and an exam in students would be great. Mm -hmm. No, the exams would be five. It's two weeks. Two weeks. Your exams. Uh, I, 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 I did that intentionally because I wanted, as Alex said, to have you guys have the ability to get in there. I think I'm gonna hyperlink quizzes on week five on the day before the exam. I think I have that already set up. The exams on Thursday and the quiz due box is on Tuesday of week five. So I think I'll do that just to keep. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can choose not to do the quizzes, even if there are three of them. But I, I yeah, next week you just have two quizzes thus far. Um, cool. Good. Other questions? Assessment questions? Please. Um, so for the exam, do you want us to print it out? And bring it I'll in? Be in. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, uh, say it again. I was, I was, my roll index was going name, name, name. Uh, print it out and bring it in. You can do that, but you don't have to. It, it's pretty long. I think it's like five or six pages long. Um, you can just do it on scrap paper. You can type it up. A lot of you guys are more comfortable typing than writing. By all means, you can type, type it up if you want and bring it in. Um, there's graphics that are hyperlinked off the exam. You don't have to print those. You have to look at them, obviously, but you don't have to print them. So the idea is really just kind of bring in your document that you've done your work on. Okay. And there's not much work to show. I'm not sure there's one, there's one W on the entire exam. I think it's all you do stuff. A lot of it's using Excel. There could be Ws. I'm going from memory, which is no total. Actually, I know there is. The total fit question. Yeah. Yes, there's a total fit question where you have to do some, some computations. And I do that for your own good. Let that, I'll put the Ws on there for your own good and make sure that you. So don't, you don't have to, and there's not enough room on the exam to do anything. Like, you could, like, squeeze things in, but I think on the exam I say, please don't do that. I think, like, please don't squeeze answers in between, because sometimes there's, like, a four-point space between them. People will write, like, two point to fit it in. Please don't do that. I'm getting, getting old. My eyes can't do that anymore. Cool? Good. Other questions? We've got a, a, a related but slightly different issue to talk about now. Voting, which is all based on statistics, at least. The results of which. Please come in, guys.